Hello, my name is Robert Shahan. I'm the author and developer of GraphPad, a touch-based engineering design application for the iPad. Today I'm going to talk about the new features with version 105, which we expect to be on sale February 11th. The main features are going to be copy-paste, grouping. We now have the ability to change the grid size of the background grid paper, also the sensitivity, and turn on and off grid snap. GraphPad is a points-based system, and so we're going to do most of our manipulation in points. In order to copy a um, set of objects, we'll just go to points, create a selection area. If we press and hold inside that selection area, we will get a pop-up menu. And we can now select copy. In order to paste, we just go to a blank portion of the screen, press and hold, we get a paste menu, and press paste. Grouping is done the same fashion. Basically, we would just create a selection area, press and hold, select group, and now we'll notice we have two additional points. We have a purple point representing the center, a line, and then a handle. And this allows us to manipulate the group. So by grabbing the handle, we can actually rotate. By grabbing the center, we can move. The points will now all be black, uh, which represents calculated points. So they can no longer be manipulated directly. So for example, if we try and select these points, um, they'll highlight, but we can't actually manipulate them. We can create lines to these points, however. Another major enhancement is associated with the background grid paper. If we go to settings, we'll see we have two additional parameters. We have grid snap and we also have grid size. Uh, we can change the grid size. We can coarsen up our mesh and our grid paper in the background. Um, if we have snap on, when we create lines and points, it'll try and snap to these this coarser grid. And so here, as we grab this point, we'll see that it's going to uh, pop to each corner. That's going to make it easier to create straight lines and our dimensions as well. Uh, a lot of our final work, we're going to want to have the ability to turn this feature off, and so we can go and um, select grid snap, turn it off, and now things will move very smoothly between the points. Go to points mode, grab the point, and now we don't have that popping action. We also have the ability to create a very fine mesh, so we'll go slide this all the way over, and we have very, very fine um, dimensions, and again, we have grid snap turned on. It'll snap to these finer points. We have the ability to copy and paste between different pages. And so on the next page, we have a countertop design, which is just lapping the uh, stove top. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste. So again, we'll just create our selection area. Press and hold, copy. Now we go to the next page. Find a black blank portion of the screen, press and hold, paste. When we paste a new object in, at this point it's not um, grouped, so we can create our group. Press and hold, group. We now have our two handles, and now we can actually manipulate it very uh, accurately. So we can take our object, move our stove top to its location. And those are the main new features of GraphPad. Again, we expect this to be on sale February 11th. Thank you very much.